Welcome to PT Dance Instructional Videos. Today what we're going to be talking about is the difference between ice water and body temperature water. So there's a really big difference between the two. Let's start by saying that every single thing that you put into your body or into your stomach, anything that gets into your uh, lower intestines, can only be absorbed if it is body temperature. So if you drink ice cold water, that ice cold water will go and sit into your stomach. Your body will now increase vasodilation, which means increasing the size of the blood vessels, sending a lot of blood around that area and around your stomach and your lower intestines, trying to warm it up uh, before it can be absorbed. So if that's the case, your body needs an energy source in order to do this. So your body already burns calories trying to warm up ice cold water to body temperature in order to absorb it. That's a pretty good thing because water is already zero calories, which means on this planet, the only thing that can um, cause your body to go into a calorie deficit is ice water because it's already zero calories and your body now needs to burn calories uh, in order to digest it. So ice water definitely gets one tick for burning calories. So ice water is amazing for burning calories. So what about exercising? Body temperature water is now the way to go because when you are exercising or when your body tends to be extremely dehydrated, during those two vital times of the day or night for that matter, your body doesn't have time to warm up ice cold water. It needs to have it absorbed instantly or ASAP first thing. So during exercise or when your body tends to be quite dehydrated, um, having ice cold water is not a good idea. So when you're actually exercising, make sure you drink body temperature water. So when you go to the gym, make sure you don't drink cold water straight from the fridge. When you go to the gym, make sure that the tap or the bubbler system that you're drinking out of has the, um, the refrigerator turned off on it. So it stays uh, nice and warm. Uh, tell your gym manager about this. Tell your gym manager, hey, you're not doing anybody a favor by having this cold. It's actually not a good thing for their bodies. So make sure that you have body temperature water when you are exercising. And we can prove it by this. I mean, how often do you ever wake up in the night and you're, and you're dehydrated and your mouth might be dry? So you wake up and you stumble to the fridge and you have an ice cold glass of water. You put the glass down. By the time you've gotten back to your room, your mouth is still dry. That's because your body hasn't absorbed any of it. All that water just goes down and, and uh, sits in your stomach. So this also means that if you have um, an ice cold water with your supplements pre-training and that water's cold, that means that it goes and sits in your stomach and it doesn't get absorbed until later. And a lot of people, a lot of my clients I found out, uh, love to have a nice cold hot shower uh, before they before they train or before they go to the gym, just to get that blood flow going. So uh, they tend to get really sick in the stomach and they're not feeling well, and this is one of the big causes by it, because your body is now sending blood to your stomach to try and digest and warm up this liquid. But then when you have a shower, now your body's also got to send blood to your skeletal muscle uh, to cool yourself down. So it's trying to send blood in two different areas at the same time, and uh, your body can't do that. It's got to sacrifice one or the other. So uh, you end up getting quite sick in the tummy. So make sure uh, you definitely drink body temperature water during exercise. So that's probably the way to go there. So as you can see, there's a, there's a tick on each side of them. So they're just as good as one another. But there is a time and a place for everything. So ice cold water to burn calories. So drink as much cold water and ice cold water as you can during the day. And that'll help you burn up a lot of calories. Uh, but your body temperature water when you are dehydrated and when you are exercising. This is PT Dan. Enjoy your day.